Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the giant paper peony perfect for events like birthdays, weddings, and more. The template and materials are listed below. You could use the template for hand cutting and machines like Cricut or Silhouette. First, start with green tissue paper and pink tissue paper. This will be used for the center of the peony. I folded the pink tissue paper and attached it to one side of the green tissue paper, about 5 by 7 inches. Then I crumble white tissue paper and glue this onto the edge of the pink and green tissue paper and roll the tissue paper to cover up the white tissue ball. Then twist the ends like wrapping a candy, but make sure the ball is on the edge of where the pink and green meet so the pink is twisted on its own while the green part is more rounded. You will need to make six of these tissue pieces for the center, but you could also make more or less. Grab a 3 quarter inch coupler for the center and attach one of them inside the coupler. I stabilize the center with a scrap of green paper on each side. Then hot glue the rest around the outside rim of the coupler. Cut off the leftover tissue paper that goes below the coupler. Then I like to stabilize it by taping the bottom with masking tape onto the coupler. Then you'll need to cut fringes along a 4x11 sheet of yellow paper, which is basically half a sheet of paper. You'll need to cut the fringes as deep as possible before fully cutting it off, leaving about an inch on the edge. Glue that around the green tissue paper covering up the masking tape area. I glued about six of these pieces, but if you would like it to be more full, you could make more or less depending on how full you want it to look. Then I slightly creased the fringes down and fluffed the edges by curling it in. Just try to add some shape to these fringes. Then start cutting the petals. The template is made for a letter size paper, but you could also use it for paper that are bigger by scaling it accordingly. You'll need 30 sheets of paper for this. I found paper that was 12 by 18 and scaled everything bigger and cutting the first smaller pieces with my Cricut, but you could also follow the same instructions with 8 by 11 paper. You could also use butcher paper, which is much larger. I used white cardstock paper because you can't find a lot of different color, bigger cardstock paper. So then I painted it with gouache paint and let it dry before starting to cut. Go ahead and cut 10 of the first smaller petals and shape it in increments of five by curling it in both horizontally and vertically. I used my other PVC pipe to help curl it. Then I grab my 22 gauge wire and glue a small piece of wire on the side and attach a second petal slightly off centered. This wire will help keep the petals up and rounded like a peony. Then I glue this onto the coupler and glue it on the bottom up to the side of the yellow fringes. I also tape the wire to the bottom to stabilize every so often. Go ahead and repeat this and slowly glue this around the center. I like to work in fives, so make sure you are spacing them out to make all five of them fit around the circle. And remember each petal technically has two, since we are sandwiching the two petals with the wire on each piece and that should be your first 10 pieces. Then grab your medium sized petals and shape by curling in horizontally and vertically. Then do the same by adding a wire and sandwich another petal, but also slightly off-centered. The height of the petals from the small size and medium size should be similar, but the width should be noticeably wider by the second size. Then glue each piece in between the first layer and fill in any gaps you have, but also make sure you are spacing it so that all five of the pieces go around the circle. Just make sure the tape is only on the bottom where you won't be able to see. Then the last 10 petals will be the largest size and I like to cut these horizontally across the paper. It is still somewhat similar in height but I like to cut as closest to the paper edge horizontally so the width could be even wider than the medium sized petals. 
This size, you won't need the wire since they don't need to be rounded up, but you could do some trial and error and add the wire if you feel like it needs it. Shape the same way by curling it in, horizontally and vertically. Then I glue the bottom on a curve against the bottom of the previous layer so that it anchors only the previous layer. I also use masking tape on the bottom to make sure it is stabilizing to the coupler. Glue the rest of the pieces working in increments of five. I use plenty of masking tape to anchor each petal onto the coupler. Then cover the rest of the coupler with a strip of green paper and I'll be adding green leaves on top of that to cover up the rest of the tape and coupler. Next part is the stem and it is optional. But if you want to have the freestanding stems, you'll have to get the PVC pipes. I'm using 3 quarter inch and heat up any type of sand. I'm using a pan and ladle that I won't be using for food. You could also find some cheaper ones thrifted. You could designate for just heating up sand. It should be heated for a few minutes enough to be hot to touch in the center of the pile of sand. Duct tape one side of the PVC pipe and take a funnel and start scooping in the sand to the PVC pipe. Once you fill most of the pipe, which should be about the pan full of sand, duct tape the other end and the pipe should be flexible to shape. I like shaping with the chairs using my tile floors to cool it off so it can mold into the shape that I like. It should take a few minutes for it to cool off and stiffen back up. Then you could take the sand out and reheat and make other stems. For the base, I use quick dry smoothing concrete. You will have to be very careful. This concrete could burn your skin, so make sure you are wearing protecting gloves, safety goggles, and a mask. Then mix in a little bit of water. You'll need to mix in water and concrete until you get a pancake consistency. Then I use a plastic plant saucer as my mold. You could use duct tape to help hold your pipe up. You could also use another coupler on the bottom if you want it to be fully detachable from the stem to the flower so that it is easier to transport or you could directly attach the stem PVC pipe into the concrete. If you want to add leaves on the stem, you'll need to tape down some floral wire with masking tape. Then I mod podge the stem, adding green tissue paper. This helps add texture onto the pipe and make the floral wire for the leaves less noticeable. This will also help with the color of the stem. You could paint another coat of acrylic paint on top to get the stem color you like once the mod podge dries. Then add your poppy head with the coupler onto the PVC pipe and you have a standing giant paper peony. Check out my other giant paper flower tutorials. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.